you're talking about to, to a couple of the pass rushers for to branch and to brass well what, what's difficult about trying to pick up some of those guys uh when you're in practice with the cheetah package what's difficult about picking those guys up uh they're very fast very elusive uh of course, they're big guys, uh, but, you know, you have to sit in his pocket, got to protect now back there in the backfield and uh, stay on your ground, you know. Hey, Rodell, uh, your, uh, or the rushing game overall was maybe not as successful as you guys have been in the past, in, in this past game. Um, what are some of the things you guys are emphasizing to maybe be more efficient and effective going forward? Uh, this week, just focusing on ourselves, you know, but that game is gone and we just focus just on this bye week, focus on uh, pass protection, really. Uh, how we're going to be efficient in the run game coming come up coming up uh, LSU week and just being able to execute as offense. The rushing attack not really working. We kind of saw you as a bit of a pass catcher uh, against Mississippi State. Is that a role you enjoy doing? And is that something you've done before? Yes, sir. Well, of course, uh, catching out of the backfield is uh, give me another option to spread the offense and give Bryce another option to, you know, check down to me and Jace and Jameer and we are very successful with it, and that helps us spread the offense. I know you've been down to Baton Rouge. You played a little bit in that first game, but that was during the COVID year. What have you heard about the stories of playing there? Uh, and then, you know, how excited are you to kind of have that Saturday night in Baton Rouge atmosphere? Uh, you know, I really don't stay on social media as much. But since uh, that COVID year, uh, I look forward to getting back there and playing in that stadium. Uh, I heard it's a great environment to play in, uh, very tough. I heard, but uh, I'm trying to be on social media that much and looking at all the raw, raw stuff. <laughs> you mentioned Jameer and his ability to catch the ball in the backfield. Just what has he added to y'all's running back room and offense? Uh, he's a very special running back, very fast. Uh, of course, he can catch out the backfield, very elusive. Uh, and he's a special guy. Uh, you can go in depth with him. He's, he's a great guy to be around, um, and he's just great overall. So you stay off social media. Is that hard? What's what's the strategy there? Have you always been away from social media? Uh, I mean, I get on every now and then, but when it comes game week, I just try to block it out. Yeah, it's not a big deal to me. Um, I try to just put it to the side and let that not be a, the focus on that week. I just try to focus on the game plan and what we have to do as an offense or as a team to uh, come up with a win. For you yourself, what do you think you've improved the most this season? Uh, you know, just coming off the injury. Uh, downstairs, they've done a great job. The uh, training staff, um, get my speed back up, uh, being able to cut, being comfortable cutting on this leg. Um, it's just been very good, you know, lately out there. And I've been, been getting comfortable with, um, with the offense and stuff. So it's just been good. What have you seen out of J.C. Latham? He seems to be really a, a, a steady hand there on, on the offensive line. Just what are you seeing out of him, and, and where do you would like to see him grow? Uh, he's a – of course, he's a young guy, a sophomore, um, very fast as a big man, as a big guy, um, very physical, strong, holds up the right side of the line, uh, and he's just very tough as an old lineman. Right, Del, you talk about coming back from your injury – um, what has this last year taught you about patience and just um, when you're away from the field, just kind of what did you learn? Uh, the mental part. Yeah, you know, it's, of course, it's one day it's sore, one day it feels good, one day it's here, one day it's there. But I just learned to just keep my composure and just go on about how it feels and just work on it, you know. Sticking with that, you talked about getting comfortable. Was there a moment when you kind of felt like you were back to your old self? Uh, absolutely. I've been felt like uh, my old self again um like I said those guys downstairs they've done a great job um it took it is very patient you have to be very patient with that, those type of injuries and um I just, I just feel great again I'm, I'm back I'll say the beginning of the season I, I feel great All the technology and stuff they have to help you overcome those injuries. What, what, what were some things that you looked at, the, the analytics of things that in the, the injury recovery? Could you say that again? I'm sorry. The, all the analytics, all the technology that seemed to have with helping with getting over a knee injury. Like that, did you follow that, did your your explosiveness, those kind of numbers? Yeah, absolutely. In the weight room, um, I saw weekly as my numbers increased, 
uh, I knew that I was getting back to myself, but um, in the, in the weight, uh, in the training room, uh, we worked on a little small stuff as in uh, cutting, getting back to normal on the little small things. And I just feel good again. Good.